Hello and welcome to this video about the cutting-edge technology of DNA storage. Have you ever heard of DNA? DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the molecule that contains our genetic information and has been used to understand the mysteries of life for decades. But what if I told you that DNA can also be used to store digital information? The idea of using DNA as a storage medium was first proposed in the 1990s, but it wasn't until recently that the technology advanced enough to make it a reality. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors behind Team Biotech Whisperer making bite-sized videos for microlearning. Let's continue with the topic. So, what makes DNA such a great storage medium? Well, DNA is incredibly dense and can store vast amounts of information in a very small space. It's also incredibly stable and can last for thousands of years, making it perfect for long-term storage. To store digital information in DNA, scientists first have to encode the data into a series of four chemical building blocks that make up DNA. These building blocks are called A, C, G, and T, and by arranging them in different sequences, scientists can encode binary data. Once the data has been encoded, it can be synthesized into actual DNA molecules in a laboratory. These DNA molecules can then be stored in a secure and stable environment for long-term preservation. To retrieve the stored data, the DNA molecules are sequenced and the data is decoded back into its original form. So what are the advantages of DNA storage over traditional storage methods? Well, traditional storage methods such as hard drives and solid-state drives have limited lifetimes and can be prone to data loss, while DNA storage has the potential to last for thousands of years and is resistant to data loss. Another advantage of DNA storage is that it is incredibly space-efficient. For example, a single gram of DNA can store over 455 exabytes of data. That's equivalent to over 455 million terabytes. Despite its many benefits, there are still some challenges to overcome before DNA storage can be widely adopted. For example, synthesizing and sequencing DNA is still relatively slow and expensive, and it is also challenging to keep the DNA stable over long periods of time. In conclusion, DNA storage is a promising new technology that has the potential to change the way we think about data storage. However, with continued advancements in technology, it's likely that these challenges will be overcome and DNA storage will become a widely adopted method of data storage. So, that's a brief overview of DNA storage. I hope you found it informative and that you're as excited about the future of DNA storage as I am. Please like and subscribe the channel for future updates.